It's a crock of shit, everybody, and they know about this. It's just to keep you off guard and make you think that this kind of shit can't happen anytime like crazy soon or even overnight, that it's a long time down the road, and then it takes a long time for this kind of shit to happen. Nope. Sorry, not true. Happens abruptly, quickly. Watch the disaster movies. That's how it happens. And they know this shit. This just came out a few days ago. Earth's magnetic field has moved unexpectedly, and scientists aren't sure why. Scientists warn Earth's magnetic pull has begun moving erratically at speeds so fast they are having to issue an emergency update to maps. Blah, blah, blah. They've known about this. If I knew about this, they knew about this. Here's a video from six years ago. Pole shift by 2018. Me. Talking about the magnetic pull. I'm a dumb dumb. I didn't know shit about this six years ago, and I could see it coming. And, if they're, and I'll, tell you, I'll tell you something else, too. If they're coming out now and telling you this like this, I, if you would have told me six years ago whenever I made that video that, first of all, in 2019, just a few days after, you know, 2018, it sounds like I'm going to be real fucking close, man. Like, holy wow. A nobody coming out, yeah, I think by 2018. I'm going to be about two or three years off before this bitch flips. Pretty fucking good, man. But no one cares, right? Who gives a shit? Throw me down for cussing, but I cuss. Oh, my God, I cuss. Wow. That, that fucking matters. Because if your house is on fire and you're at the grocery store and I knew you and I said, hey, your fucking house is on burning on fire, you'd, you'd drop what you were going and you wouldn't say, hey, no, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. I don't like that cussing. Now, come back to me and tell me my house is on fire again. Get out. Grow up. So, so I don't believe anybody on. You're all full of shit. You don't fucking believe that. You're not upset by cuss words. You're full of shit. I don't believe you for a second. So if I knew this shit was going to happen, they knew it was going to happen. And when this stuff happens, it's going to rip open time and space and everything is going to change. The moon is getting further away on its own, guys, which means the days are getting longer. All right, even what you may think or believe, whatever, doesn't matter. Even they told you when Fukushima hit, the earthquake was so powerful, it made the earth, uh, knocked the earth off its axis a little bit here and there or whatever some more and made it like each day like a quarter second longer or some shit. Say what you want about the poles. Say what you want about the flatter. Say, earth, say what you want about any of this stuff. Doesn't matter. The consequences are all going to be the same regardless of what we know for sure. The magnetosphere is completely fucked. All right, the sun is weakening, we're weakening, and your heart gives off an electromagnetic field. The earth gives off an electromagnetic field. With the, whether you, I, There's someone on here saying that magnetics are bullshit. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. All I can tell you is I was in the military. I was a aviation secretary. I cut paperwork for compass calibrations. Every year, 365-day compass calibrations. I wrote the paperwork, I issued the paperwork, I signed the paperwork, and these pilots, they went out and they calibrated their compasses every year. So I don't know what they're, comp I don't know what they're calibrating to. If there's no magnetics, I don't know what they're calibrating to. But all I can tell you is that they're out there doing something. And all this shit's moving because way back when, in like 2011... It was moving so much that like Tampa Bay, I remember this, in like Florida, I think it was, something, they actually redesignated the landing, the runways, because the magnetics were all fucked up. So are they just doing that randomly? They're like, oh, we got to pretend that the magnetics are pulling, so hey, everybody, let's just re, uh, let's remap the, the runways. Are they doing that? I mean, I guess it's possible, but I'll tell you, shit's going to change. And look at this, man. You're going to have 13 hours in a day. Here's a Labyrinth movie. That movie Labyrinth, 13 hours in a day. Here's Smarts, the 13th month in The Simpsons. Because the days are getting longer, which means they're going to have to put more time on the clock. That's what I think. And if they're coming out and telling you that Ophiuchus sign or whatever, I can't pronounce it correctly. They call it the new 13th Zodiac sign. They started that right at the end of the Mayan calendar, right at the end of the last days, 2012. Which is funny that they're, you know, we're going to this new age that's going to have a new calendar. A new Zodiac. One ring to rule them all. And so the days are going to get longer because whatever the cataclysm is. So again, man, if you would have, if you would have told me six years ago, like, hey, hey, Tony, do you, do you believe that in six years mainstream media is going to come out and say, hey, you know, you're right. But they're still going to act like it's not going to happen all that fast. 
And I think 2020, and I tell you, not even besides the cycles or anything like that at all, I've shown you the picture. I was going to bring it up, and I was like, man, I'm not going to do it. I've done it a thousand times. I've shown you the planetary alignments on the winter solstice of 2020, how literally every planet is on one side of the solar system, and Venus is behind the sun on the other. So you're going to have all the gas giants, every planet on the solar system on one side of the sun, except for Lucifer on the other side. Lucifer on one side of the solar system, everything else on the other. Sounds like a rebalancing. And the more this thing moves, this magnetic, because of the North Pole's moving, the South Pole's moving, and the more this thing tilts, the more it's going to, it's just like a, a scale. The more it tips, the faster it moves. And this is what happened in 2012. The sun started going ape shit, and then this whole place just flipped. And they talk about the dollar collapse and stock market crash before all this stuff happens. And we've never been poised for something more coincidental than we are right now. Especially when Newsweek is coming out and saying this stuff. And they're also saying, oh man, it's moving so bad, so fast and so crazily erratic that we're having a navigational update nightmare. So I just listened to, to the history that I can prove to myself and my heart. I don't listen to anybody else anymore because I got no reason to. That's why I got no reason to argue with anybody, debate with anybody on here. Obviously, I know what I'm talking about. And it's not an ego. Obviously, what I'm just saying is the, is the truth. I don't give a shit what anybody says. I got a better record on here than anyone else does on YouTube. And I ain't trying to get nothing out of nobody. I'm just trying to help. And I ain't been nothing but shit on by the vast majority of people since I've been on here. And this is why I love it. I can show you this, I can show you this headline and I can show you this video for me six years ago. I can show you all sorts of other videos like that. And that's why I feel great about my last seven years and how I've spent my last seven years because I think in 2018, my seven year tribulation ended. That's what I think and I survived it, man, and I grow, I grew and I rose and I'm just about to shine, motherfuckers, and it's gonna be great. And so I can look back at this stuff and all these other videos I've done and say, yep, that's happened, that's happened, that's happened. In fact, there's not many, hardly many conspiracies left. The big ones are the sun doing something crazy, a big, huge earthquake that everybody feels and an asteroid hit, and that's about it. So I can look back and say, yep, I've been telling everybody right, and it's preaching about the Father and our Mother all day long. But not twisting your arm, saying, if you don't do this, if you don't do this, you're going to hell. Nope, never did, because you're going to find your way one way or another, either this cycle or, or not. Been living a great life, meaning what I say, saying what I mean, keeping my motherfucking promises. And I can see it all unraveling at a beautiful pace. I, I love it. So now, now it's time for me to kick back, put my, my fucking feet up, and watch this place burn. And go down with a smile on my face saying, hey man, I did everything I could. I told everybody the truth. And it's all right here for everyone to see. Saying do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. Same thing our, our brother told you. It's the only thing you got to worry about. If, you, if you're not an asshole, say what you mean and mean what you say, you'll go home. Or you can stay here because a lot of people seem to love it. Which is crazy because... What's even nuts is the people who say they hate this place, but they fucking love it because they keep making the same mistakes like over and over again. So you love it. Quit. That's the big. That's what you're so upset about is because you can't believe you can't get over how much you love this place, even though you say you hate it. You're a hypocrite. You're a liar, just like everyone else is. Just get over it. You love this place because if you didn't, you would you'd get up and you'd change and you'd move on. But you're not. So you love this place. Quit being a liar and just admit it. You don't want what you say you want because if you did, we wouldn't be here. It's that simple. Grow up. Jesus.